Hello again. Today, I will be sharing with you the second question and answer or Q&A video about selling on Shopee. This is another set of 10 questions that I will be answering. Pero bago ang lahat, gusto ko munang magpasalamat sa mga nanood ng mga previously uploaded videos ko about Shopee for finding them informative and helpful. I am happy to know na may iba na, na nakapag-start using the step-by-step -step tutorial video. Sobrang saya ko kapag may nare-receive akong mga questions and comments from you. Again, salamat po at sana you will continue to support my channel. Sa mga gustong manood, I will post the links on the description box. Disclaimer again, yung mga sagot ko to your questions are based lang from my knowledge, ideas, and opinions. It will still be up to you kung gusto nyong i-apply din ang mga sinasabi ko. Okay, let us now start. First question natin for this Q&A part 2. Magkano dapat ang tubo ko kada item? Sa pagdetermine ng markup for tubo, may kailangan kang i-consider. Number 1. Calculate the total cost of the product. Kung binili mo, una syempre yung purchase price or kung magkano mo binili, plus overhead like transportation, repackaging, kung nag-repackage ka, plus labor, dapat may pasweldo ka rin or commission ka para sa sarili mo, and packing supplies like bubble wrap and boxes. Kung sariling gawa mo naman, compute mo lang ang cost of materials plus labor plus overhead like electricity, water, gas, whichever is applicable. Number 2 sa dapat mong i-consider is competitor's prices. Check mo sa Shopee mismo kung magkano ang presyo ng ibang sellers for the particular item. Huwag mo lang masyadong ilayo ang price mo para more chance na mabili ang sayo. Number 3 is the product fast moving. Kung may mga naging buyers ka na, i-monitor mo kung mabili ang item. Kung mabilis naman or tinatawag na fast moving product siya, pwede kang mag-lower down ng price para maka-attract ka ng maraming buyers. Number 4, set ka ng profit margin or rate para sa mga products mo. Sa case ko, nasa 30-50% to 50 ang margins ko uh, for my products. Kung 100 pesos ang total cost, I sell it on Shopee for 130 to 150 pesos. Question number 2 na tayo. Pwede bang mag sa Shopee? Parang double meaning ang question for me. Una, if you buy products tapos ipopost mo sa Shopee to sell, that is already equivalent to reselling na. Pangalawa naman, if you plan to give special offers to find buyers who might resell your posted products on Shopee, pwede kang mag-post by wholesale. When you add product sa may wholesale option, pwede kang mag-set ng lower prices for large purchases. Either ways, ang sagot ko sa tanong mo is yes. Question number 3. Paano kung naubusin ako ng stock at wala na akong maisend sa buyer? Gagawin mo is, you have to cancel the order, chat the buyer, and apologize. The buyer will get disappointed pero at least, you made an initiative to open up with the issue. Lastly, unlist mo muna ang product para wala nang umorder ulit. You may republish it once you find stocks again. Question number 4. Paano kung di ko maiship ang item on schedule? Kung di ready ang package on the day you schedule the pickup, ang mangyayari is dahil naka-schedule ng shipment, the rider will still go to your address. You need to inform him na di pa ready ang package. The rider will just record it as package not ready. Order will then be cancelled automatically once makarating kay Shopee ang report. The buyer will be notified of the status of the order. Questions number 3 and 4 are correlated to each other. Shopee is imposing seller penalty points for violations. Yung nasa incidents under number or under questions number 3 and 4 are both violations. If you check your shop in the app under performance, click seller penalty points. Makikita mo ang list ng mga violations. Pwede mong i-check isa, isa kung ano ang coverage ng mayan. Every penalty point is being counted on a quarterly basis. May mga corresponding sanction or consequence sa mga seller. Depende sa dami ng penalty points. 
if you click rules, makikita mo ang privileges na mawawala sa iyo kapag na-reach mo ang mga limits. Example, kung may 3 penalty points ka, you will be banned from using marketing campaigns. Kapag naka-6 ka na, you will be banned from using the campaigns and you will lose free shipping feature para sa shop mo. Kapag umabot ka ng 15 penalty points, sobra ka naman. Shopee will already freeze your account. 28 days ang, e ang effect sa shop mo. There's a note, Shopee will reinstate any lost seller privileges after 28 days as long as you take steps to improve and stay on target. Points will reset to zero at the start of each quarter. Every first Monday of January, April, July, and October. So, Shopee will still give you the chance na mag-improve. Kaya, just be of good standing as much as possible. Let us go to question number 5. Paano mo malalaman kung na-deliver ng order sa buyer? For every sales transactions, may mare-receive kang notification from Shopee mula sa may na-receive kang order up to the point na ma-deliver ang order up and also sa fund transfer. Kaya make sure that you keep your app notifications on. Another way is to go to your shop and go to my sales. Uh, for every sale, may tracking para makita mo ang status ng mga sales mo. Question number 6. Kailangan ba ng physical store at saka business permit? sa products na sariling gawa or binili sa supplier? Uh, galing po yung tanong kay P8 Forward Society. Nag-comment siya under one of my YouTube videos kaso di ko ma-replyan most probably dahil uh, di nakapublic ang comment niya. As of now, para sa mga individual sellers, I mean individual sellers lang not business, walang requirements si Shopee na physical store at mga business documents like business permit, tax certificate, mga resibo. I myself, wala akong business permit. Sa bahay lang din lahat. Yung home address ko is also my pickup and return address. Move po tayo to question number 7. Paano pag malaki ang item? There are two cases if you sell or plan to sell bulky or heavy items. Let's say home appliances, computers, and small furnitures. First case, if you do not have COD feature sa shop mo, in this case, well, you have no problem kasi you just ship, ship the packages on your own with your preferred courier service provider. Second case naman, if you already have COD, you may request from Shopee yung Black Arrow own packaging as an additional courier for your shop. In this way, you may pack your products accordingly. Shipping fee will be calculated on automatically on the Shopee app on the basis of the package size and weight. Question number 8. Bakit Shopee at hindi Lazada? Medyo controversial ang tanong pero I will answer. Personal opinion lang to. For me, as a seller, syempre I need to find ways kung saan ako kikita at makakatipid. Sa Shopee kasi, libre lahat so far. Walang commissions, delivery fees si Shopee. Si Lazada, I know may delivery fees, taxes, at binibili pa ang mga pouches and boxes. Nag-create din ako ng seller account sa Lazada pero di na ako tumuloy after mabasa lahat. Di ko sinisiraan si Lazada pero I am just being practical. Pareho lang naman halos ang dalawang platform but I will save on cost sa Shopee. Next question tayo or question number 9. Seller na ako ng Shopee pero bakit wala pa rin akong COD? Kailangan mo munang dumaan sa process. Number 1, you should have at least 10 products on your shop. Number 2, may nakaset ka ng default pickup and return address for your shop. Nasa may profile settings ang address. Number 3, if you already have those two, contact Shopee after 7 working days para mag-request ng free shipping and cash on delivery feature for your shop. You may contact Shopee over telephone call, chat, or email. And number 4, once ma-approve, just follow the instructions to be sent to you by Shopee. Uh, please take note lang na hindi lahat approved for COD feature. May mga areas pa rin kasi sa Pinas 
na hindi abot ng COD service ng partner couriers ni Shopee. Kadalasan ay yung mga locations na mahirap pang i-access or medyo malayo pa sa city proper. We now go to the last question or question number 10. Ano ang gagawin kapag nawala ang order habang dinideliver? Uh, di ko pa na-experience ito as a seller pero as a buyer sa Shopee, yes. It was when I have one to receive what I ordered. Wala naman talagang nag-deliver. I reported it to Shopee and after a week, I got a notification that the item was lost. I contacted the seller about the issue and the seller said that it will be paid by Shopee anyway. If you are a seller and an order remained to be undelivered for a long time, you may report the incident to Shopee as well. We are now done with the Q&A pero inform ko lang kayo about the latest update on Shopee. Just this 20th of February year 2019, may update sa Shopee. So when I installed the update, may nabago ng konti sa interface. This is for sellers only. Yung nasa left photo, yan ang old interface ng Shopee. Magkatabi lang ang options na buying and selling when you click the ME or ME button. Sa ngayon, when you click ME or ME, you will find my shop button sa my upper left corner ng inyong screen. Yung lang naman ang nabago, the rest is as is lang naman. Okay, that will be all for this video. Sana makatulong sa inyo ang mga sagot ko. I will still post a Q&A video. Compile ko lang ulit ang mga questions and comments na nareceive ko. Write your questions on the comment box para maisama ko sa next video about Shopee. To get updated for the next videos, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell para not manotify kayo agad. Again, thank you very much for watching and God bless us all.